Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build and customize the new group by feature on the Avonid data table. The group by feature on the Avonid data table is extremely useful and powerful for readability and data organization on the data table. Let me show you how it looks like on Salesforce. So this is the Avonid data table live on my Salesforce. And here I'm using the group by feature on the data table. As you can see, the, this list of opportunity is grouped by the stage field. So basically I have like multiple data table into one data table and everything is fully functional. So if you want to inline edit a stage to change the stage right there, it will automatically change the state of that data. So it's extremely useful and powerful, especially for readability of the data you can have on the data table right there. So now let me show you how to customize and build that using the Avoni components inside Flow Builder. Okay, so that's my flow here. Let's open the screen element. I have the Avoni data table I just drag right there. Now when you click on Open Component Builder, you will see a preview of the data table. I already drag all the fields. As you can see on this example, I am not using the group by. It's still displaying all the related information regarding the query I just set up on the data source. So you can use the query mode, an integrated to query mode, or use the variable if you have a get records collection. Now, if you want to activate and use the group by feature, all you need to do is really to drag, to, to scroll down, and here you will find the group by attribute. So all you need to do is select the field you'd like to group by information. And now the data table is grouped by the stage field. If you want, you also have access to the group by option. So you have access to various options to customize the look and feel of the group by. First, you can hide undefined group. Let's say you want to undefine or you want to hide a specific group. You just need to enter the label of the field you'd like to hide. You can also make section non-collapsible. You can display number of rows, number of data you have inside each group by. And if you need it, you can show empty groups. So you can say, okay, new collapsible display uh, group row count right there. And I'm done. So that's, as you can see, it's extremely straightforward, easy to set up. You just need to go to scroll down the group by attributes right there under the data mapping and select the field you'd like to group by the data on the data table. And you're set. So you can click on done and activate the flow to see the final result. So if we go here. Okay, now you can see the final result with my modification. Now I can display, I can see the, the display count of the number of records I have for each category of the group by. So that's pretty much done for set up the group by feature on the Advoni data table. Extremely useful and powerful because if you have a lot of data you'd like to manage, the group by features is extremely valuable. So let's try this. I mean, let us know uh, in the comment section below if you have any question, if you want to learn more about this, let us know. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.